Yes, guys, we are finally back. We are finally made it to another one. Another reaction to this here BR, BBTV, be real. Be positive. Television, brothers and sisters. I know it's kind of late that your boy is kind of dropping these videos, but I have to drop it nonetheless, brothers and sisters. I was actually working on the aerial video of the drag racing that we actually did in St. Lucia. Of course, the Dominicans had to uh, be a part of it. Some of them, I think two Dominicans had to be a part of it. But unfortunately, there was a circumstance that took place, and of course, they were not able to make it. But I did do an aerial shot, brothers and sisters. I did do a vlog of it as well. It's on the Mr. Lix vlogs. Of course, the aerial video will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys, if you want to go check that out right there. But, for, but, but without a further ado, brothers and sisters, okay, I know Mr. Lix reaction, guys. Let us get into the vibrations for today, right here. And of course, don't forget to do what? Hit that like button, of course. With that said, guys, of course, there seems to be something rather interesting spurring up in the recent times, brothers and sisters. Of course, today, between 9 a.m., of course, I was early on, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., it seems like there's some sort of planned outing. And I'm keeping a close eye on these things, brothers and sisters, because I like to look and pay attention to these kind of things. Hopefully, this is not a reoccurring thing, okay? But apparently, they are considering it to be plat planned outage. And, of course, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and, of course, what they're going to be doing, they're going to be undertaking maintenance on the high-voltage distribution system at Victoria to Delicis. Hopefully, that doesn't occur constantly brothers and sisters or continuously but however there's also another one that will be taking place brothers and sisters another plot out planned outage and of course the affected area this one would affect the victoria delicis area this one will affect bellevue Chupé south mon lofty the entrance of point me i'm 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 Pichelet and river estate of course this is another one to maintain uh, the high voltage distribution system, of course, that's got, they're going to be working on that between Bellevue and all the way down to or up to or sideways to River Estate, right there. Of course, Thursday, 29 February, that's in two days' time, brothers and sisters, from 9, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., respectively. I'm guessing they're going to be talking about the different areas that will be affected, but it's pretty much around the same region. The question here, like I asked before, brothers and sisters, is this going to be a continuing thing? Will it be a continuing thing, considering, brothers and sisters, um, if this is what they're hiding, you know, the load shedding under, if that is the case, I hope that is not the case, but I just want to bring this to light, concerning that they were saying these kind of things before, and then it ended up being load shedding, of course, when the, the I think the former managerial individual, um, the one who left, she stated that something needs to be done as a result of the lack of generators brother sister am i blurry am i why do i look blurry i don't know anyways guys let's continue right there so of course after the vehicles heard that they might have been a struggle <laughs> you know with the electricity one fell one fainted brother and sisters one fainted um well on a serious note brother and sisters, i don't think this is um um i think this is the internationally airport trucks it looks like that one is going, one is coming, and apparently, I guess, maybe one of the individuals fell asleep or something of that sort, and they ended up, you know, missing the road a little bit, and then capsizing. Thank God, it wasn't over a precipice, because to capsize over a precipice is nothing easy, brothers and sisters, especially in a truck. You know, trucks are heavy, you don't want this to happen, but thank God, it could have been worse. Okay, whoever is driving this truck, at least the person got to see another day. Normally, we tend to say it was Chinese that driving these kind of trucks. It looks like an international airport truck. Uh, but it looks like uh, maybe one of these individuals out there were the ones driving the truck. Maybe they're overworking the workers. Are they overworking the workers out there or something? If that is the case, that should not be. I know in certain parts of the world, they have a limit on the amount of time that you can actually do work. But I'm guessing they're not working from morning to night. Are they? If that is the case, I don't know. Seems like they're carrying some sort of debris looking material right there stones or maybe they're looking to fill something of that sort but i don't know anyways guys we are moving along right there moving along to this set of situation that 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 taken place on sunday that was part brothers and sisters i left the country and and all this was taking place so what watch this people in military uniforms there is no war in Dominica, but people dressed in military uniform. And look, look, look at Samurai. There's a Samurai there, brothers and sisters. Dressed in black. What, what is the point of this? What, what is the point of this? And in the United States, people kind of be dressed like this and then 
come after the citizens. There's, they don't have the jurisdiction to do so. So, well, then again, you can say Dominica is different from the United States, but there is no war. I mean, are we playing costume dress up again? Or is this another effort to try to intimidate the citizens to not show up on Sunday? <laughs> guys, guys, there's military people out there. Let me not show up. Let me be here, by Let me hide there. Eh? Ted Calbas, you cannot prevent the people. You cannot. And the people need to know this, that nobody can stop them except themselves. They are the ones giving the government the liberty to do as they please. And they should not allow that to happen at all. All this is not as a cause of protecting the people, no, brothers and sisters. This is solely as a result of this, brothers and sisters. There was some sort of update earlier in the week, I was told, on the indication that police are saying that they are uncovering a plot to burn down the city of Roseau. Now, if you're undercovering a plot to burn down the city of Rosa, I actually said it this yesterday. Aren't, most likely, is your team that would be doing that? Wouldn't that be your team? You, under, you uncovering a plot that was never a plot of these individuals? None at all? <laughs> but you uncovering a plot. The question I must ask, brothers and sisters, if you're uncovering a plot, who exactly is linking you to uncover that plot in the first place? Therefore, if you are uncovering a plot, there must be a plot giver to know that there's a plot taking place. Not true. Now, if that be the case, wouldn't that that means you have to arrest the person for trying to uncover, because you're uncovering a plot that there is going to be a burning down of Rosa? Isn't that the case? I mean, you, you're bringing people dressed to, do you, you, ay, 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 you, you going to shoot. Eh? Who? Boy, if it's me, I put I put dice on the radio. Blast it, <laughs> Mr. Abdul. Abdullah, bring money. Yes, <laughs> Boy, see that boy. See what Dominica has come to, boy. When mankind can move freely, they want to talk about the grievances of the country. And they send in policemen. Probably the same policemen who know that there's grievances in the country. Who's not for the government. They're sending them. That's a possibility, you know. They're sending them <laughs> to do the dirty work. It's interesting. Samurai Jack. Yes, I Samurai Jack. Just wasting money. Just, well, when you don't have nothing to do, brothers and sisters, when you have nothing to do, I myself, when I saw this video for the first time, I thought maybe they heard that there was some sort of drug sting. I would understand on the basis that there's some drug sting. And you know, drugs can be dangerous to the people of the community. And you're trying to protect the people of the community. That is not the case. The sole reason for this, brothers and sisters, from my understanding, is this. That they are uncovering some plot that is not have nothing to do with this. But they uncovering plot, brothers and sisters. Uncover plot still. The police uncover a port, not a plot. It must be a port, indeed. They say the opposition, Zijan, <laughs> the opposition wanted to burn down Roro, Rozo. The people want to have a peaceful protest. They, they had a peaceful protest, brothers and sisters, on the basis of having a peaceful protest. Huh? Imagine, brothers and sisters, man even say, I remember back in the day when they talking about drones. And they say, boy, drones can be dangerous and all those things there. Who using drone more? Of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Brothers and sisters, there's a drone in the sky there. <laughs> Looking down on the meeting that was held on Sunday. To freely and fear. Let me zoom in. All you think is joking. That drone in the sky. They don't afraid drone now. Oh, okay. Really decide who will see so drone spying, man. <laughs> The yes, Lord. And for how long? Now, guys, on the basis of utilizing drones, I remember, I can't remember who exactly was doing the training, but they were actually utilizing trainings to then try to see how they can, you know, look at where, oh, in um, the French islands, brothers and sisters, I think they were planning to utilize drones when the French people are, are, are not happy with what is happening and they are out in numbers by the the thousands, not the few hundreds in Dominica. They are out there in the thousands, brothers and sisters.
to tell the government or whoever is in charge that they're not siding for not her, none of that stuff. None of it. You know, coming and push things on French people like that, you know. Ay, ay, ay. One thing French people still have the vibes. Maybe that's why I'm Haiti is France, is French. <laughs> Creole, whatever you call it, the French brothers and sisters. Them French people don't take no joke from nobody. When you have a situation in your country. <laughs> the situation in the country, brothers and sisters. What is the situation? That is the question. Right there. We'll get to that in a moment, brothers and sisters. But of course, there was an individual who decided he wanted to be apologetic. Not for the you, you, um, um, Lennox them, but for the government. But let's see if it makes sense. Now, I am inviting you to listen to the type of leader that is out there in the person of Lennox Linton. Under the pretense of a meeting, is trying to incite the nation. Now, sir, when you're making a statement, how on earth did you come to that conclusion? Was it, Did he say anything of that sort? Was there any sort in the history of Dominica that that can be the case? Can it? Do you, did you hear him say anything of that sort? To me, I heard them say they're going to have a peaceful protest to discuss what is going to happen or what should happen next. Remember, they said that in previous meetings before. Because they waited to see what is going to happen as a result of the electoral reform. Okay. All right. Are you talking about burning down roads? Oh, really? <laughs> Boy. With, I mean, what indication would he have stated that would cause the war or warrant individuals to be in military attire on Sunday when they should be in God's house? They are in military attire. Just, just dress up. It's, it's, what do you, you call that again? It's Halloween. Everybody dressing up, man. It's carnival just passing, you know, so it's Halloween time. So man dressing up, boy. All right then. Come on, make turn into the people. At least some of the people waking up. Hopefully it's enough to say, hey guys, something needs to be done. Hoping that there is going to be a strike in this country. And it well, I think that's one of the things that they want to do, make a strike. Because you know why? Electoral reform has not been added and it's been constantly stringed and stringed upon string. Long time, brothers and sisters. So the people need to do something. If they cannot make war with the people, them, the, the, the people, then you can do what needs to be done. Do what needs to be done. And it's interesting, brothers and sisters, when I'm thinking of this, people go on strike. Some people might want to show up to work and all those kind of things there because, you know, they, 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 they think of themselves. They don't think of their future, which is rather interesting because I saw a rather interesting post, brothers and sisters. I think I'm going to share it right here. Let me see if this is it. Not this one. No, not this one, brothers and sisters. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. Right there. I saw it, you know. Yes. Dominicans have no choice. They will need to make this very important sacrifice for the children's children or children and the children's children's future. Future. Fear nothing man can throw at you. Step into faith. Have, have, and I would include have hope like a labor right to do what needs to be done, brothers and sisters. God is with us. Do nothing. That is a strike that they want to have right there. So hoping that the strike does work instead of going into, you know, tyranny, which of course has a level of, has, has, its, has, has its, its place, brothers and sisters. It has, its, it has its place. It's one of the reasons why the United States have armed their citizens. And in the Constitution, gave the individuals right to arm the citizens. Because when the government turns against the people, and we want to pretend as if government doesn't turn against people because the people are, because the people are putting them there, you have to think, brothers and sisters. The government can turn on you, it's clear, as they like to see what is happening in Dominica. You know, it's very clear. It's not any secret. When people are trying to find work, can you realize, hey, but set up business is closed. <laughs> Talking about business is closed, brothers and sisters. <laughs> That's another business that closed down. Okay, brothers and sisters, based on this letter I read, they are, they are valued customers. We regret to inform you that our physical store will be closed. We will be closing soon. However, we are, ex we are excited to continue serving you through shop.dm where you can conveniently browse and other our products. Thank you for your understanding and continued support. So they're closing down, shop, brothers and sisters. Because it's very difficult to maintain the physical store. So might as well work digitally. Well, we'll see how that works right there. We're moving into a digital world. 
But of course, instead of looking at these kind of situations that are tend to take place in Dominica, we want to fight down each other and say, boy, look at what the man doing. Really? Okay, let's continue. He's doing that under the pretense of a meeting and want to make people believe that the government is not allowing him to have a meeting. The police has agreed to have a meeting, but there are certain conditions that he must meet. First of all, the people have a right to assembly, to assemble. They have a right of assembly. No police can say don't assemble. That's impossible. The people are the ones in charge, you know. You know that, guys? The people are the ones in charge. Not the police. The police is supposed to uphold the laws to protect the people. The government is supposed to do things for the people. None of which we are seeing in this day and age. Brothers and sisters, we see people dressed in these kind of things there. You think it's for the people they are protecting? <laughs> the people? That is the same Sunday, you know, guys. The same Sunday that day. Okay, there was more people than usual in that time. But, you know, let's continue. <laughs> We met with the chief of police and his team on Wednesday, February 21st, 2024, at 10 a.m. They know very well we are not involved in plans for lawlessness of any kind. They know this. Yes, they do. Yet we are threatened by the national security minister that whatever lawlessness happens on that day, mm. whether by the police or? or agents of the government mm. facilitated by the police, mm -hmm we will be held responsible. responsible isn't that what they tried to do in the last last time brothers and sisters why they have them in thing we heard that there were individuals outside of the gathering of the united workers party and whoever was involved in in in, in this situation right there outside trying to cause chaos and putting things on fire and all kinds of things now it's rather interesting brothers and sisters if you look at this at the close range point of view say they are guilty say you know ledox them are guilty of say they're causing this right but you have the mr speaker of the house who was also there yet still you don't hear nothing about mr speaker on trial or nothing like that because he jumps sides now brothers and sisters if you have to be fair i mean you can clearly see this is nonsense that's going on the mr speaker of the house joseph isaac was there so if these guys were trying to do something in this sort, he should be equally at fault. But you're not hearing much because he's not Mr. Speaker of the House, not true? <laughs> okay. Make it make sense for me, brothers and sisters. Make it make sense. Unculpable, meaning we will be jailed. Hmm. We the people. What, Lennox, the police, they are right. How oh, is the police right? Who made any indication of them doing any any sort of any sort of thing at all they have had these meetings before talking about what's gonna happen in the next four months or five months or six months or whatever if this does isn't isn't is met we're gonna meet again to discuss what what we should do next this is why i think they're talking about striking right now brothers and sisters i i heard the video of him saying in the next seven days they're gonna be striking if nothing as a result of the word from the electoral reform you know they're gonna be striking they, they're asking the citizens to strike and they should strike but the question here is is the citizens or are the citizens willing to strike on the basis of that understanding like i was going to make a point earlier on they have appointed a number of individuals and they are refusing to appoint a number of people they are refusing to do so because they are fearful that if they appoint people it's very hard for them to fire people who are appointed <laughs> so they are refusing to appoint people have been in 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 positions for donkey years, 8, 9, 10, 15 years, not appointed. Don't you think this is a willfully done? Of course it's willfully done. So that it can prevent situations like this from happening. Where the people want to go and strike, don't show up for work and oh, you don't show up. Oh, you remember you're not appointed there. Eh? You're fired. Take you out from your job. Try to put somebody else there. Well, then again, who else can put in there? Is go the young people going? Who want to be a teacher in Dominica to get minimum salary? Yes, certain places might, might think if you go on for your education, might get a little extra something. <laughs> if you're going to have a meeting, you should be man enough and responsible enough to let the people know that you're going to have a meeting. And you do not, do not say you do not associate or you're not responsible. This is a very weak statement. Are you stupid? Who is this fool speaking, brothers? Who is this foolish person speaking? 
Somebody's gonna have a meeting on the thing and they say it's gonna be a peaceful thing. They have had it before, it has always been peaceful. Somebody, somebody, somebody concoct a story and say, hey, we heard that there's gonna be a burning of a rose on that same day that they're talking about. The same day they even had drone in the sky flying after they say they freight drone and drone can all kind of thing. Interesting. Hmm. Anyways, that's another. <laughs> so you are then saying that they're having a meeting. If somebody outside somewhere most likely decided, hey, they want to throw things in buildings and all those kind of things there that have nothing to do with the peaceful meeting that they had. You are saying that they should take blame for it? What kind of foolish understanding is this? You need to condemn anybody. Who would they have condemned it and they indicated that there is no, this is going to be a peaceful protest. A peaceful, not even a protest, I don't even think it's called a protest. It's a national assembly, they call it. I think they need to have more protests, brothers and sisters, walk on the street and protest. Because what is happening in Dominica is not good for the Dominican people at all. It's only good for the people at the top. When Paul reps and different individuals at the top can meet me and say the economy is doing well. And I know the economy is not doing well, brothers and sisters. Factual basis that being indicated right there, understanding the growth factors, factors of Dominica. All of them died except the construction industry, which is the only one. And that self looks like it's dying too. Because there's problem in the head house, brothers and sisters. Problem in the fall house. But I don't know much about that. <laughs> Anyways. So all this indication would not help the people at all <laughs> you know but hey what 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 you know it's trying to take the occasion for the purpose of causing mayhem do not try to say that if something go wrong it may be the police or people from the government you need we know it's the police no, no, sorry we may not know it's the police we would not know if it's the police or not brothers and sisters but the very fact that they uncocked a cocked story to blow to, to burn down Rose, I think. Who gave you that story to who who was the one giving that story in the first place? How can you uncock a story and these individuals for with the National Assembly had no indication of doing such a thing? None. Are you trying to talk about the uncocking story to burn down Rose? <laughs> that is interesting. Guys, don't ask yourself, you don't ask yourself a question. Who was the one who gave them this story to, to say that they, the road, they go, they're gonna burn they're gonna burn down Rosso? Who? Where did they get that from? This 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 individual, I don't know. <laughs> well then again, that individual probably getting paid to see this stupidness. But you have to realize not everybody's stupid. Even though labor rights are waking up, well it's scary tides. I cannot be disrespecting Rose's legacy like this, the scary tides. And to condemn any and everybody who may be trying to use this occasion to burn down Rose. If you cannot do that, Lennox, you are complicit and you're not coming on the air to clear anything. Well, first of all, what? So you, you just tell him I need to condemn it and then you're not coming on the air to clear anything. Maybe I don't hear that properly. Let's go. Let's you listen. are complicit. And you're not coming on the air to clear anything. You are exposing yourself for being complicit to people planning to burn down Rosso. So you know that is not them. You saying people, you're being complicit. <laughs> yeah, hey, but you're not easy now. So you know it's not them. You say for people, let's listen to this again, guys. For being complicit. To people planning to burn up. To people planning. You, you you understand this. So you know. You know you're just playing wicked. Don Rosso. Participate in the National Assembly on Sunday, February 25th, 2024. Are committed to peace, good order, and lawful behavior. That song ain't like Burn Dong Rosso to you, sir? That song ain't like any sort of Burn Dong Rosso at all eh, for you, maybe? I, I, I don't know. We are not afraid. We serve a mighty God who sees and knows all things. He will assemble. There is no need for you to be afraid. If you are so, you didn't just tell him that he need to condemn it, and he just did. And then you come in and say there is no need for him to be afraid. Why didn't you take what he says and say, okay, yes, he did say that. That's true. So we let's forget uh, about what I was saying, the foolish things that I was saying a while ago. Why, um, why didn't you say this? No.
doing what is right. Like on February 7th, 2017, you are now in court for that. And you have not learned your lesson. So learn lesson and the country going down and you want people to stay quiet? You know the country is going down. This is literally factual. The country is constantly going down. Another bl a business close. Another one. I think another one also closed within the seven days I was out. I, I should have tried to look for that. So I think five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine businesses closed already for the year. Eight, nine, eight, or wrong there. Well, I do. I even lose track, brothers and sisters. It was four, five, six, six. So maybe eight. I think there was another one, and there's eight. Was that the garage one? Anyways, brothers and sisters, seven or eight businesses so far for the year has closed down. So they come in to say, "Hey guys, something needs to be done," and you're saying that he should he should stay quiet. When a man is constantly screwing up the place. But hey. You are going to keep a meeting. And you are yet to assure the people that you are con in condemnation of anyone who is making or has any plot. But you are challenging the chief of police. You are trying to challenge the credibility of the chief of police. The, credit the credibility of the chief of police has already been challenged. Remember what happened to Kian? Remember when they come, come, come and cock, cock the story? Eh? And then thank God for the journalists who understand timing. I was one of them, brothers and sisters, who realized that what they were saying wasn't making any sense. This is why you have to be mindful of people who are in positions of authority coming to tell you the good news of certain things when they are making up stuff to cover their dirty ways, their own tracks. Then another policeman had to come and say something completely contrary. Okay? So if they can do this, brothers and sisters, that was one. Don't you think they can do the same thing too? Remember, the system is corrupt. And if the system is corrupt, the person in charge of the corruption will always want to put more corruption on the people who are already corrupted. So be that the case, brothers and sisters, don't you think that they would try to do something like this? Is, isn't, it, isn't it possible? Hmm. When it's All I know, the United States is watching it. Eh? says that they have discovered a plot so if you are serious Lennox, you need to condemn that Please assemble in full obedience to the rule of law <coughs> and we will succeed with the mission to rescue restore and rebuild our beloved country hmm. Lennox, you need to come better than that <laughs> you have an issue you are calling the meeting because your battle is coming up on the on Monday, and you want to have people in town on Sunday, and see if you get the momentum. As a matter of fact, I've been informed that there's some people seeking. So maybe it's you that that took, tried to you been informed. Who are you for the police to inform you? So maybe it's you that uncover the uncocked a plot to burn down Rosso. Not true. In bed, and they are saying that there's going to be a strike in Dominica this week, next week coming. So, Lennox. You need to be a good citizen and you need to condemn the action of people who are in a plot planning but best why am i listening to this foolish why brothers and sisters forgive me all right forgive me for listening to foolishness brothers and sisters now on the basis of different things brothers and sisters this individual on what they saw on sunday all i saw today was independent intelligent people that are not afraid to stand up for their rights Remember, brothers and sisters, rights wasn't given by governing bodies, you know. You know that, right? The rights that we have was not given by governing bodies. The rights that we have were given by God. God gave man free will on the basis to not affect others' free will, brothers and sisters. He gave man free will to live in accordance to even of their own mind, brothers and sisters. God gave man free will to even curse. Well, God will deal with all you in the future. But on the basis of that, brothers and sisters, free will was not given by man. The reason why there's rights and laws and this kind of things there is to remind the people in power that the people have rights. And when they are infringing on the individual's rights to freedom of expression and journalism as well, brothers and sisters, you have to keep that in mind. You have to ask yourself a question. Should we just stand there and take it or should we do something about it? 
I think we should do something about it. Don't you think so? I, I, I really believe so. Anyways, this is not the only one. Right there, they had the drones in the air, brothers and sisters. Keep that in mind. And of course, guess what? <laughs> this person is saying, I wish I were a priest so that Monsignor would come to confess to me why he will why he will do and say anything to maintain a corrupt and evil administration in poor brothers and sisters. Sometimes we always tend to look at, hey, let's look at the spiritual leaders. Sometimes these guys are in bed with the very demons themselves. Not all, you know, keep that in mind. Not all. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you guys know this. But a lot of them, not a lot of them, a few of them are there. And they are there to constantly maintain the order. This is why I wanted to play. I wonder if I should talk about the Vatican, boy. Let me... Okay, let me leave that one there. All right. The evil names, brothers and sisters, sometimes is rooted in these wicked people. You expect them to know better? Well, they're probably corrupt as well. The system, remember, the system is corrupt. And what the head of corruption tries to do is bring other people into the corrupt. So when they are also corrupt, brothers and sisters, they, it's a difficult thing to leave the corrupt. Or you'll have to pay the price for your corrupt ways that you also did on your own accord. Yes. If somebody told you to go and steal, and you steal, brothers and sisters, and you got caught, and you get caught, and you, or in matter of fact, you decide you go and confess, I, I was I stole. You cannot then say, Oh, that person that tempted you got steal. Huh? No, brothers and sisters, you did it of your own accord, and they know this. This is why when they bring people into the corrupt regime, it is very difficult, difficult for them to leave. Because if they leave, they're going to expose them. No? All right. Did Skerat Sham election or reset made things better or worse for Dominica? I mean, you guys can be the judge of this. Did it make it better or worse? Remember they talk about the reset? And the reset wasn't the reset at all. We still have the same thing. People from before saying, hey, we put parabs there to do things for us and they're not doing it. They put a new parab there. And the same thing happening, they're still complaining to the new parab. Not realizing it's not the parabs that is the problem. It's the head that telling these parabs not to do nothing. Don't you think that is the case, brothers and sisters? Because I heard Scarrett say on the radio, he was the one that, not radio, on, 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 on live on TV, not AI, you know, saying he's the one that was responsible for telling the, the parabs. I think of last election or the one before, not to do anything in the community. Blame him, he said. Blame me. <laughs> no. You come in and say, oh, if they do the work, you will fire them. The election pass. Things are happening, brothers and sisters. The people are complaining. Hey, in my hole, they're complaining. Hey, the youths have no jobs, all those kind of things there. Eh? The youths have no jobs, and they have to end up going to, to drugs and all those kind of things there eh, to try to make it. Ah, uh, brothers and sisters, we need to understand. But hey, that's what the people want, not you? Well, Dice and a number of others are saying, no, we don't want this. We want to get back our money so we can do things. Guys, one thing I understand, I, I agree with this song, I love this song, bring money, Mr. Abdullah, bring money, all these things there. And I understand, hey, if I was there, I'd probably, hey, bring money, Mr. Abdullah, bring money, I myself, I was taking my foot in Calypso, <laughs> you, you know. But on the basis, brothers and sisters, this is not now time to, to, to enjoy yourself. The country is in struggle, but then again, you can't just be moping on yourself, maybe that's why that is, so I guess balance, I guess it's balance. <laughs> What treasure you doing overseas? But I don't understand that people are like, yeah, yeah. But then you get the system corrupt. So those that are supposed to hold the individuals who have money overseas responsible to bring back the money into the consolidated fund, they're too corrupt. Why isn't it coming back to the country? That is the laws of the land. What money is doing outside in overseas treasury? Money back at it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't your voice rough with <laughs> for you. Not a singer, and I use this public speaker, you know, this singer. But then again, I heard him sing, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. 
but to take poor people money, boy. Yes, I. Well, like I indicated, Dominicans have no choice. They will need to make this very important sacrifice for the children, children's future. Fear nothing, man can throw at you. It's Black History Month, brothers and sisters. Black History Month is almost over. And when black people are doing this to other black people, that is something else, we. Black people are keeping black people around. I remember the Prime Minister saying, hey, these people cannot take him for we zeeb. Of that sort, I'm paraphrasing, of course. They cannot just try to push things on him, you know? And I indicated while he had the parap, I said, but wait a while. You saying that these people cannot take you for their little boy. And you're doing the same thing to the country. So they cannot do you, but you're doing it to the country. It's interesting. When it comes down to the situation, right there, brothers and sisters. Business close. But this is a very important one, right there, brothers and sisters. What happens when everyone else does nothing? And the public service continues to work for all the perks. What is the point, brothers and sisters? For this strike to work, everybody needs to be in it. You see the French countries? When people strike, when the nurses want something, and the nurses go and strike, everybody striking. Not some people striking and other people striking. Oh, that's not my business. Brothers and sisters, everybody needs to go and strike. They need to bring the country to its knees. Those in power need to know who's boss. They need to know who's boss. When Scarry come in and say, oh, the people just need to let him run. Just say, man, do what you want. He's not like he's not doing it already. He's doing it already, you know. He just come into, you know, make charade. <laughs> and this kind of things, brothers and sisters, we need to understand that the rights of the people is the rights of the people. When you elect leaders to do things for you and they're not doing it, you take them out. Simple. Whether it's for elections or whether, they, 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 well, then again, the parents who need to go and say they don't have no confidence. <sighs> People are just greedy, brothers and sisters. But then, when you're corrupt, <laughs> in a system that is corrupt, you check in. What is the point, man? What is the point, right? The people are the ones. That's the point. Ready. What are your thoughts, guys? These are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. Don't forget to check out the Mistakes Vlogs as well as the Ariel Dominic. I'll put these links in the description below so you guys can check them out as well. In the description, the first comment in the comment box below, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. I would appreciate that. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get more videos as it ends. So, but Mr. Licks, once again, on this here, BRBPTV Reactions. Be real. Be positive. <laughs>